the James Webb Space Telescope is living up to its promise as a wayback machine, uncovering impossible ancient galaxies, massive cosmic structures, and the possibility of alternate universes. All these discoveries by James Webb are reshaping our cosmic perceptions. But with these groundbreaking discoveries made by James Webb, are we on the brink of unraveling the greatest cosmic mystery? Is this just the beginning of a whole new chapter in our cosmic adventure? Join us as we dig deep into how James Webb could take us to the end of space. The James Webb Space Telescope was humanity's first pioneering attempt at capturing the first lights in the universe. This marvelous structure, half as big as a 737 aircraft with a sun shield the size of a tennis court, was made with a budget of around 1 billion US dollars. With the relentless effort of scientists from NASA, ESA, and CSA for over three decades, the telescope faced numerous hurdles since 1996. Finally, its construction was completed in 2016, and after a set of tests, James Webb was all set to launch in March 2021. Just when everyone thought that the telescope was all set to seek the final frontiers, they were reminded that it is not over until it is over. Following a series of postponements and rehearsals, it was ultimately launched on December 25, 2021, atop an Ariane 5 rocket from Kourou, French Guiana. This marked the commencement of a journey to seek the answers to the biggest questions of humanity. Renowned as the successor of Hubble, James Webb boasts significant advancements over its predecessor. With a 6.5-meter diameter gold-coated beryllium primary mirror comprised of 18 hexagonal segments, this mirror provides a light-collecting area of 25 square meters, enabling the observation of objects too faint or distant for Hubble. Operating primarily in the near-to-mid-infrared spectrum, James Webb can delve into the mysteries of the early universe, studying the first stars, galaxies, and potentially habitable exoplanets. The telescope's design also addresses the challenges of infrared observations, necessitating extremely cold temperatures below 50 Kelvin to prevent interference from its own infrared emissions. The five-layer sun shield shields it from the warmth of the sun, earth, and moon. Equipped with a sophisticated array of instruments housed in the Integrated Science Instrument Module, James Webb can provide essential functions to the telescope. The intricacies of these instruments highlight the collaborative efforts of international teams in advancing our understanding of the universe through the groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope. Our naked eye would never be able to see what the telescope sees, traveling through light and space. NASA's James Webb can see the origins of the universe, something our minds can hardly begin to grasp. Working like a time machine, the telescope promises to take us far enough to put together the broad strokes of how our universe grew up, leading to decades of additional research to robustly put all the pieces together. From its very first deep field image unveiled by President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and Nelson Live at the White House, Webb has delivered on its promise to show us more of the universe than ever before. However, Webb has revealed much more than distant galaxies in the early universe. According to Eric Smith, Associate Director for Research in the Astrophysics Division at NASA Headquarters and Webb Program Scientist, the breadth of science Webb is capable of exploring becomes clear with a full year's worth of data from targets across the sky. Webb's first year of science has not only taught us new things about our universe but has also revealed the capabilities of the telescope to be greater than our expectations, meaning future discoveries will be even more amazing. The global astronomy community has spent the past year excitedly poring over Webb's initial public data and getting a feel for how to work with it. Beyond the stunning infrared images, what really has scientists excited are Webb's crisp spectra, the detailed information that can be gleaned from light by the telescope's spectroscopic instruments. Webb spectra have confirmed the distances of some of the farthest galaxies ever observed and have discovered the earliest, most distant supermassive black holes. They have identified the compositions of planet atmospheres or lack thereof with more detail than ever before and have narrowed down what kinds of atmospheres may exist on rocky exoplanets. For the first time, they have also revealed the chemical makeup of stellar nurseries and protoplanetary disks, detecting water, organic carbon-containing molecules, and more. Already, Webb's observations have resulted in hundreds of scientific papers answering long-standing questions and raising new ones to address. With Webb, the breadth of Webb science is also apparent in its observations of the region of space we are most familiar with, our own solar system. Faint rings of gas giants appear out of the darkness, dotted by moons, while in the background, Webb shows distant galaxies. 
by comparing detections of water and other molecules in our solar system with those found in the disks of other, much younger planetary systems, Webb is helping to build up clues about our own origins, how Earth became the ideal place for life as we know it. As Webb senior project scientist Jane Rigby of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center said, with a year of science under our belts, we know exactly how powerful this telescope is and have delivered a year of spectacular data and discoveries. Webb's science mission is just getting started, there's so much more to come. Indeed, in a stunning discovery, James Webb has just captured a glimpse of the earliest strands of the cosmic web. Galaxies are not scattered randomly across the universe, they gather together into vast interconnected filamentary structures with gigantic barren voids in between. Cosmologists call this structure the cosmic web. The cosmic web holds the vast majority of the contents of the cosmos, roughly 5% matter such as gases and solids, 27% dark matter and 68% dark energy, spanning the entire universe, traversing otherwise relatively empty cosmic voids. It serves as the scaffold responsible for carrying the plasma lifeblood of our universe, and it is the reason we exist at all. However, it is devilishly hard to get a handle on. For one, it's invisible, we can only begin to discern its filamentary contours by spotting galaxies as those that emerge in the stick man. Also, it's just really big, the cosmic web fills up the volume of the universe and contains up to 2 trillion galaxies, of which we've mapped far less than 1%. But mapping the web wouldn't just provide us with a better picture of our universe, it also promises to reveal tantalizing information about some of the biggest questions in cosmology. Efforts using tried and true astronomical models to develop a cartography of the cosmic web have continually come up flat. So astronomers are taking up some unconventional approaches, applying principles of origami, spider webs, and even slime molds to try to understand the structure of this life-giving network. And now, like a giant leap, astronomers using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have discovered a thread-like arrangement of 10 galaxies that existed just 830 million years after the Big Bang. The 3 million light-year-long structure is anchored by a luminous quasar, a galaxy with an active supermassive black hole at its core. The team believes the filament will eventually evolve into a massive cluster of galaxies, much like the well-known Coma Cluster in the nearby universe. General relativity, the theory proposed by Einstein, posits that mass bends the fabric of space-time. This curvature is responsible for what we perceive as gravity. When light from distant sources passes through this curved space-time, its path gets deflected, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This can cause background sources to appear shifted, amplified, or even duplicated in the sky. By utilizing light from galaxies and stars behind the Coma Cluster and leveraging the advanced capabilities of the Subaru Telescope's Hypersu Prime Cam, researchers have detected a weak lensing effect caused by the dark matter component of intracluster filaments for the first time. This groundbreaking discovery further confirms the existence of the large-scale structure that permeates the universe. Meanwhile, in the vast expanse of space, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, known as Sagittarius A Asterisk, is spinning so rapidly that it distorts space-time into an oval shape resembling an American football. According to Einstein's theory, this phenomenon, called frame dragging, occurs when a massive object rotates, pulling space-time around with it. The spin of Sagittarius A asterisk has been challenging to measure accurately, but recent observations using the outflow method have provided insights into its angular velocity, indicating it spins at 60% of the maximum possible value. This rapid spin warps spacetime around the black hole, influencing the formation of powerful jets of radiation and hot clumps of plasma, which emit radio waves and X-rays, respectively. The implications of Sagittarius A asterisk S spin extend to its past and potential future activity. Although currently inactive, the black hole's rapid spin suggests it could become more active if fed by the infall of gas clouds or stars. Evidence of past activity is seen in the form of Femi bubbles, enormous structures of gamma ray emitting matter emanating from the black hole's vicinity. These bubbles likely formed from powerful jets generated by Sagittarius A asterisk S rapid spin. Such activity can significantly impact the surrounding galaxy by affecting gas dynamics and star formation rates. Additionally, a newly discovered asteroid, named 2024 CY1, recently made a close approach to Earth, passing within 12,480 kilometers, or about 31% of the average distance between the Earth and the Moon. Detected just three days before its closest approach, this asteroid posed no threat to Earth. 
It was observed using the PANSTARS-2 telescope, which is part of a system designed to identify near-Earth objects that could potentially impact our planet. This encounter highlights the importance of continued vigilance in monitoring celestial bodies that intersect Earth's orbital path. Already and hit the bell so. You never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content everyone's. Support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve as always thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.